YouTube, what's happening? It is Monday, August 26th, and you can see we have a Monday slate, so we don't have everyone playing, but we do have some new matchups, which is the best part of all, including a doubleheader in Cleveland. We're having that today, too. Yesterday, you can see I was red again, but see, I had a great weekend. See, I donated some of those hard-earned units back to the people that need them the most, the Seminole Tribe Sportsbook, because they're the ones that need my units, apparently. I mean, given I did get most of my units from them i just held them for a while i gave them a few back because you know they're building that giant hotel on the strip in vegas they took the mirage over they're building a, a hotel tower guitar now so hey they need all the help they can get i want to make sure i pay for at least one of those bricks out there so i think i did a good job this weekend so on top of that the best part i joke around obviously the best part is when someone tweets you and say hey thanks for your information i won something i was like whoa somebody won something great would you win they won a two-leg home run part for plus 4,000. Love that. That's awesome. And at the end of the day, I was doing miserable yesterday. I said, you know what? In the Discord, I said, guess what? I'm going to do this. Four games, put them together, a little Hail Mary, try to salvage tonight, and it hit. So yeah, we kind of broke even on the day. So we will take that. So overall, it was a good day. Now, this is not going to go into the total that you see. You see this at the bottom. This is only from the plays I give out on the video. That's it. We don't add anything at tail. I don't add anything extra. The thing I just showed you, that doesn't go in there. This is based on what I say in the video every day. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Pretty simple, right? So on top of that, we got 12-ish. Was it 112? Yeah, 12 games. So it's Monday. It's new week, new money, new matchups. Let's go in that first game right now. All right, kicking us off is KC Cleveland part one of the doubleheader. We can see that KC's a slight favorite. Eight and a half is the total. Look at the weather. We see it's going to be, I mean, it could rain. It could rain a little bit. Wind's not an issue. So um, that's not the right screen. Gets the right screen. There we go. 53% uh, nerfy based on what they've done this year. 4.0, 265 for KC. That's 15th and 10th. Cleveland, 6.7, 273 at 6 and 8. So they're both doing pretty good, both top 15, but Cleveland's slightly better in the offense right now. And neither one strikes out. That's just what they do. They don't expect a lot of strikeouts in the series. And let's pop over some pitchers. We got Reagans going out there today. Reagans has been, uh, you can see, up and down. Uh, Gave a four one one two four strikeouts nine eight seven six. I mean that's pretty consistent. He's on pace, for, yeah. He's on pace for ten now today. So yeah, not gonna happen. But Samuel's going out there. He is a reliever. Is a uh, they're gonna start off with a bullpen game today for Cleveland. That should be a fun one. Uh, yeah, no, that makes. So, don't you just love bullpen games? It just makes things so much easier. So we can look at Reagan. That's all we can look at here. Uh, load them up. Let's see what we got. History. Oh, we can look at Sandlin. Hold up. Hold up. Let's look at some history. We got some history. Okay. Okay. Uh, not good history. Nobody does good against them. Bobby Witt is 0 for 7. What? What is this nonsense? That is crazy. Perez is 1 for 7. That, that, okay. That's, that's the water stat I'll see all day. Guarantee I won't see a water stat. Against righties, you can see how they do normally. Um, which 347 against both doesn't matter who it is. Oh, and I was gonna look at Reagan's. That's right. That's right. Come back to me, Reagan's history. Not Quan's three for five. That mm, Noel has a home run. That's but nothing really stands out. Jose being one for six is kind of weird, too. That's just a weird game already. I don't like it. A lot of 300s for lefties and a lot of 100s. You either really good or not for Cleveland against lefties. Interesting. Okay, strikeouts. I'm not taking I'm not taking any strikeout props in this series. I'm gonna tell you right now. None. These two teams do not strike out. I'm not chasing. I'm being more conservative. Two red days mean day three red. Uh-uh. We can't have day three red. So we go a little more conservative. We reduce the volume of plays. Hell, we might even reduce the units a little bit. We got to hold on to that balance a little bit. We got a month left still. I want to dump units in playoff time. That's where I want to play them. So Ooh, it's very consistent, but I'm not liking it. Go to the bats. Not a single bat on there is green. I'm not chasing any more unless it's green. Nah, nah, never again. Not doing it. So come back here. Do I like a side? I do not. I I mean, Cleveland has the bat slightly, but KC has the start, the actual starting pitcher. Cleveland's starting a bullpen. And it's a doubleheader day. No, no. 
if I, I'm probably going to pass on this game and the next game, but we'll still break down the next game because it's a different set of pitchers, different. So, but the stats stay the same. This game is a pass. Next game, and we're just going to go ahead and knock out game two as well. It's not really in order. There's a couple games time wise before then, but we're going to back to back. Let's knock it out. So. Casey Cleveland part two, again, is a pick them. Eight and a half is your total. Let's look at the weather. We got to scroll down a couple, but there it is. Game two weather should be same weather. No wind, a little bit, but tense rain, not much. Uh, let's see. Same numbers you just saw, 53%. Offense a little bit to Cleveland. Casey's still not bad. They don't strike out. Basic stuff. The only thing we got is different pitchers now. So we got Marsh going out there for KC in this one. Marsh has given a five a few times, seven down here. You can't see it, but there's seven. Uh, other than that, he's been pretty good. He's he's up and down. You're either going to give it one or two or five. That's about what he does. So Logan Allen's going out there for Cincy. Uh, he has only pitched once, but really, it's, yeah, twice since June 30th. And it was yeah he pitches once a month it looks like <laughs> yes, he got the best contract in sports i'm gonna go pitch one time a month and that's it so uh yeah he's been you see what he's done so let's go to the props because i do have props still so logan allen look some history does anything stand out i mean there's some that these these averages stand out melinda's 429 isbel 750 600 over 10 at bats see bobby what's good against logan allen he wasn't against that reliever so i mean I mean, he's looking for a Bobby Wood home run or something, or Bobby Wood HRR. That might be the play, but we just saw that. I mean, I don't even have HRR. All I have is home runs and stolen bases over here, and nobody's hit a home run. Bobby Wood's hit one three of the last 10 games. Everybody else is at least two or lower. So, yeah, I'm not liking any batting props. But, yep, if I had him, I'd probably take Bobby Wood HRR. So, that's something I would do. Uh, against lefties, we see how they do. Yeah, the team, Femin, Bobby, that's about it. Or the props itself, all we have are strikeouts, four and a half, and he's not even a strikeout dude, really, for real, so I'll leave that alone. Uh, let's see, Marsh, all we have are strikeouts, four and a half. He's <laughs> so he's more of a strikeout dude, but not as much. Again, I'm not taking any strikeouts in the series. I'm telling you right now, Cleveland and Casey are two of my four teams I don't take strikeout props against. The other two being San Diego and now Washington. Washington, I'm confirmed that they are a strikeout advert team. Because after that Chris Sale game, I was like, yep, the numbers don't lie. Washington is good at not striking out. So let's look at Marsh. Marsh's history. Jose's got two home runs and seven at bats. If you're looking for battle props, I'd probably go game two instead of game one because Jose likes to face this guy and Bobby would likes to face the other pitcher. So Quan's 500. Yeah, that's what I would do. I would hold off and wait for some props to come out because game one, you saw the pitchers, the props just don't look good. Unless you think they're due, which, hey, they could be. You never know. It's baseball. We don't know anything. We're just guessing. So, all right. We already looked at that. There's the props. They're terrible. The side, nothing changed. It's exactly the same. I don't lean a pitcher. They're about the same pitching-wise. So, to me, like I said before, it's another pass. Let's go to some real games. All right. So, now talking about Toronto and Boston. They're starting this game up today uh, at 2 of 5 Eastern. It's resuming a game that happened a while ago this is a fun one because the catcher in this game actually got traded to the other team so the catcher is actually going to end the game having played for both teams that's fun love to see that that's hilarious little fun things like that now obviously there's no betting on it because it's already it's the game's already happened they're in the second inning of this game they're just picking it back up from what um when was this june yeah so now <laughs> yeah it's been a while so uh there's no betting on it yeah it's just there so but I will show, um, I do have, we'll show the stuff. There's, they're playing later again, so it's technically two games, but is isn't really a doubleheader, is it? I don't know what you want to call it. They're going to play like 16 and a half innings today, which is, in my mind, a doubleheader. So here's your stats currently for the night game. You can see based on what they've done. Now, these obviously will, um, they probably won't even shift because I bet they don't count the stats towards anything recent because it's all going to count for that June game, which doesn't make any sense to me. So... Baseball rules, am I right? So, yeah, double headers are fun. So, we do have pitchers for later. Um, supposedly, we have Yariel going out there. You can see what he's done. And we have Cutter going out there. Fun thing is ESPN lists this for um, actually their early game for 2 o'clock because ESPN, whoever's running this uh, part of it, doesn't know what they're doing <laughs> because this one should be down here because, yeah, 
<laughs> I assume because uh, I don't know who they're going to throw out there for pitching. It's it's a weird game. It's weird. Weird games you stay away from, far away from. And since they're playing later, it's a double header. I'm no, we're passing on it all of it. So we're not going to touch this. We're leaving it alone. Anything Boston, Toronto related is passing. We'll pick them up tomorrow, not today. Next game. All right, next up, Houston and Philly. Uh, Philly's a pretty heavy favorite at home. Eight is your total. Looking at the weather, because we are in Philly. Got to go back up, I believe. There it is. It might rain. That's just, it might rain. Wind's not an issue, though. Uh, let's see. 45% Nerfie based on what they've done this year. 4.3 versus 8.7. Philly's offense is on fire right now. 257 versus 372. Yeah, Philly gets all the love on the offense. They, yeah, they're on fire. So, pitchers, we got Zach Wheeler going out today for Philly. He's been outside of his New York game. He's been good. That's, that's all you can say. Blanco's going out there. Let's see if he, because he wasn't good his last game. So, if he's not good again, Philly's going to drop a lot. Philly might drop a touchdown on him by himself. So, uh, I expect Blanco to give up some runs because if Philly stays this hot and it's consistently hot, like it looks like it's going to be. Yeah, they're going to yeah run through some pitchers probably. So, Because Philly has that pop. That's what they do. They have the power, the potential to do that. All the big teams do. So uh, let's pop over to props, see what we got. Blanco outs is slowly going down. You can see that ain't good because he's starting to struggle a little bit. Strikeouts? Mm -mm. Five and a half? No. Mm -mm. Hits? Four and a half? I, mm, it's 160 though. Mm, but... Mm, maybe maybe runs walks your walks are up except for i don't know what this was but okay let's pop over oh, i don't even look at your history let's jump right into your props okay so, <laughs> let's look at your history here we go not much history okay against righties uh i mean all the everything's in the mid twos which is yeah not yeah can't complain turner's 293 yeah okay Wheeler, let's go over here. Look at your first history. A lot of red for Wheeler. That's not good for Houston. That ain't good at all. See, it was a good bit of green on the other side, but mm, red over here. Uh -uh. I think Billy's going to go to Milan. I know it's a banned thing, but... Yeah, we're going to do it. Philly on the money line sounds like the winner to me so far. I mean, let's... Only way it wins is if, like, Diaz throws, like, a lights-out, damn near no-hitter. And, yeah, no. I'm, I... Mm -mm. Mm, strikeouts. Mm. How is Houston striking out? 13th. Okay. Okay. That's, mm -mm. I mean, that's right there with it. Head to head. You got, you got seven. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Let's see. Hits. Earn runs. Walks. Outs. I ain't feeling none of that. Bats. Somebody do something for me. Um, and I particularly Philly people do something for me. Ramizo, Marsh, Pena. Road to Marsh and Nick Castellanos. Let me look at him real quick. Let me look at these. Dig through these real quick. Show me. There we go. Castellanos is a one, one for one against righties. He is only betting 239. That's a pass. Uh, Ramuto, where are you at? 258. Never faced him. And who was the last one? It was Marsh. Marsh, of course. Marsh. Marsh, Marsh, Marsh. 253. And you're 0 for 1. I don't like any of those bats. If I even come over here and look at Wheeler's side and just look at who do I want to look at? Gamel, Diaz, and Pena. Gamel, Diaz, Pena. Gamel, Diaz, Pena. Diaz, history, never faced. Pena, 0 for 3. Uh, Gamel, 1 for 5. Yeah. Just, I mean, Diaz is 3 up, but not good enough. Okay. So I don't like any of the props. I'm going to say fill in the money line. I might highly regret it, but I'm going to do it. I don't care. And I'm also going to pop over here and go team totals. Philly runs. Uh, four and a half. Yeah. No, wait. That was Houston. Ha. That was Philly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Philly. Four and a half plus 110. Done. Taking that one plus their money line. Next game. Next up, Chicago, Pittsburgh. Pick them. Eight and a half again. All these games are closed. There hasn't been like a real massive blowout yet. So, there'll, there'll be one, I'm sure. But here we go. Look at weather. Uh, we got Chicago. Got to move up. Nope, nope. It's down here. I'm blind. There it is. There, you can see pretty good day for nothing to worry about. 
let's see, 60% nerfy based on what they've done this year. 7.3 versus 4. That's 5th and 15th in Van Chicago. 292, 221. That's 4th and 21st. That's average Chicago. Chicago did have a downtrend yesterday. Only two runs while batting a buck 82. Pittsburgh, neutral. That's what they do. They did exactly what they do. Four runs, but they did get a 303 average. So neither team striking out much, except for yesterday, the Cubs struck out 10 times. Yeah. Okay. Pitching. Jameson's going out there. We see how Jameson does, and he has been giving up runs. Uh, four out of the last five games, he's given up at least four runs. That's a fun stat. Um, Keller's going out there for pity. And, I mean, he had a great game against Texas last game. Before that, double eight, double seven. Great game. So, I mean, I call people elevators because they're so up and down. This dude is an elevator. That's all he does. So, to the props. See what we stand. See what we see. What we can find. Uh, we'll go Jameson first. Let's we'll see. A lot of tells is over. What was that? One for 11? Ugh, that ain't good. De La Cruz has a home run. Uh, nothing else really stands out. Okay. Against righties, Pittsburgh is. Uh, I mean, there's some good ones. There's some there's some bad ones, but nothing too great, too terrible. Okay. Uh, outs starting to slowly trend down a little bit. That's not good. Strikeouts, mm, pretty consistent. Mm, head to head under that only two times he faced them which was once in may and once last year and they're neither, they're neither striking out right now much yeah neither one's striking him out much so we're gonna pass on that hits have gone up a little bit okay there's your earned runs struggling four out of five giving up at least four earned runs uh two and a half first thing i'm gonna do is pop over here real quick while we're on this screen and we're going to look at the pittsburgh runs and it is at plus 115 for four and a half. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Let me look at the bats real quick. Bats aren't on fire. All we got is a Maya. That's it. That's fine. That's fine. We can work with that because Chicago's offense is still fifth and fourth in there. That's cool. Pittsburgh is fourth. Yeah. I think we could work something out here. I think we can do something here. Um, let's pop over here to Keller. I think, what's that overall over under? That's all I want to see. Eight and a half. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not hating it. Uh, Keller history. We got some good ones. Bellinger likes them. 364. Hap is 360 and 25 at bats with three home runs. Damn. <laughs> That's <laughs> all right. Hap, you're double 60s, but you guess what? I just said I'm going to be cautious, but come on. Look at the numbers. 360 and 20 of other bats with three homers and a 1.2. That's like Aaron Judge season numbers. No, we got to do it. We got to do it. Hap over 1.5 HR. Don't care. I mean, don't care. Yeah, I see the 571, but it's only seven at bats. I mean, Suzuki's good too. Yeah, you could take all three, put them, all four, and put them in a parlay. And why not? Might do that off video. Might do that. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, let's see. Hits. Uh, strikeouts. No, earn runs. Gave up a couple pops. Yes, they're both potential to give up runs. That's why I'm liking that eight and a half. Bats are good. Pitchers have shown runs. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's easy math here. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go the over 8.5. Why go team totals? Why go pitcher earn runs? Why is, I can help have the bullpens help me too. So over eight and a half. Take, uh, I'm taking a half, one and a half HRR. I'll off camera parlay some more of those together because they all look good and just move on to the next game. All right, we got the Yankees and Washington. There's your semi big favorite, New York 184. Total is nine. Weather, it might rain, but you might get some rain in the game. So um, both offenses have upward trend. That's the first thing I see. Five runs, 232 for New York. Washington, three runs, 267, but they both had a pop yesterday. So that's fun to see. Uh, pitchers, we got Nasty Nesta going out there. Cleveland and Chicago, he was just dominant. Th seven innings, three hit gems. Now, it was Chicago, it was the White Sox, let's be honest. And Cleveland, we, I mean, we saw Cleveland, what, like a few minutes ago? They're not the great best right now. They're struggling hard. So, I mean, take those numbers with a grain of salt. Before that, he was just awful. So, now today, he's facing... A Washington offense who could, I mean, better than both of those. I guarantee he's better than both the ones he's faced the last two games. So, um, let's see. You see those. Let's go to Mitchell Pack. Um, he bounced back nice from that 10-9 game. He bounced back. It was Colorado. We got to take that. And it wasn't in Coors Field. So, you got to take that with a grain of salt, too. So, yeah. Let's go with the props.
Let's see what we got. Nasty nest. No history. Oh, go back. What's this? Don't want that. I want you. Back to props. Just, yeah. Give me Nestor. There we go. Uh, history for Nestor is nothing. Washington versus lefties. Uh, we got some high twos, three hundreds. Uh, some terrible numbers. Some ones. Up and downs. Okay. Pretty consistent. Strikeouts. Washington doesn't strike out much. I mean, people. I, I bet a lot of people are going to take this four and a half today. I know they are. I just know it. They're going to see it. Oh, it's Cortez versus Washington. Washington sucks. Oh, yeah. I'm not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know Washington's a little high on strikeouts right now, but mm -mm. no, no, no. They've been so consistently in the top five this year. It's ridiculous. And so uh, hits five and a half. Mm -mm. Walks. Outs. Ooh, it was. See, he's done good two in a row now. Is he going to go seven again, though? He gets pulled quick when he starts giving up them runs, though. Hey, he has a short leash. Let's go to Mitchell Parker. Mr. Parker, what you got? Uh, three for four for Chisholm. Okay. <laughs> Against lefties. Uh, well, the Washington. I mean, New York is just not good against lefties. I mean, only one's Judge and Sato. No one else is. I mean, J Jazz is 255. And that's third. Like, ugh. Okay. All right, Parker. Four and a half hits. I can sell. Oh, I mean, strikeouts. Hits is five and a half. Earn runs. Walks. Outs. I mean, what's the total of this game? It's nine? Why is it nine? Makes you want to go, hmm, why? Look at the bats. What we got going on? Judge, 2.5 HRR. Judge home runs. His home runs is 70%. Seven of the last 10 games, dude's hit a home run. Four out of the last five games, he's hit a home run. And the odds are like, okay, the best one you're going to get is 154 on FanDuel. Like, what? It's almost like, okay, bet to not hit a home run because Parker, uh, yeah, he goes up sometimes to get the home runs. Okay. Soto walks. There's an option. Oh, wow. Uh, this one, it's like, oh, do I take this? And it's like, uh, uh, oof. Oh, hard, hard decisions. Very hard decisions. I think I'm not liking this one. This to be, I'm going to throw it out there. I'm not liking it. Nothing's truly standing out saying, take me, take me. I don't like the props. I'm not liking the pitchers. It's just something feels off in this one. I'm passing. Passing. Next game. Next up, Braves, Twins. Twins, the slightest of favorites. Eight is your total. Looking at the weather. They think it's going to storm later, but not during the game is what they think. So 53% nerfy based on what they've done. Braves offense has fallen off a cliff. 2.7, 220. That's 28th and 23rd, including one run and a .097 yesterday. That ain't going to get it done. Not, a good, not good at all. Minnesota, 24 and 25th, 3 and 213. They're going downhill as well. I mean, ugh. Nerfies in play. I'm just going to say it. The nerfies in play. I, I, I'm I, sick of nerfies. Let me just put it that way. I am sick of them. They're disgusting. I hate them. But it's in play. So <laughs> let's go to the pitcher see what we got. Max Freed Fried Chicken over here. Let's see. He's not been the best this month. But he's getting better. Five, four, three, two. See, he's on pace for one. That's how it works. It's got to happen, right? <laughs> uh, O'Bear's going out there. I like the pitchers. Let me say that. Both pitchers have given up some runs occasionally, but that's what pitchers do. They're going to give up runs. Just, I think they're both good enough to not give up a run in the first inning. How hard is that? Especially with these offenses? Come on. Caution. Take this at your own caution because I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You can't stop me. I'm doing Nerfy. You can't. You can't talk me out of it. So done. Nerfy on the sheet. Let's go up here to the props. Max. No, we want Max. Let's start with Max. History. Santana's one for seven. That ain't good. Three for six. That ain't. Mm -mm. Against lefties. Um, we got a couple three hundreds. Other than that, a lot, a lot of two lower twos and ones. Nothing too impressive. Let's see. Outs. Mm -mm. Strikeouts. How are they both striking out? Atlanta's striking out more. Minnesota's top 10. That's what I thought. Okay, so I don't really want to take. I mean, he's consistently at four. Uh, what have you done all year? 59% you've gone over. Mm, 16 last 20 games. Mm, and you've been right there at four a bunch of times. Only three games you weren't right there. Ooh. Mm, maybe. Maybe. 
Our mountains walks. Okay. Let me look at our side, see if anything looks good. Anything looks good. What the hell is this? Out 17 and a half? I mean, I know it's heavily juiced, but. Huh? Oh, I did bet this last time, I think. You know what? And that offense? Yeah. Come on, we're going to go and just throw that on up there. Obear over 17. Like a spell. Obear over 17.5. PO. I mean, if he goes below, he goes below. But what can you do? I mean, that's a trend, obviously. Let's see. Du Duval's got him a home run. Other than that, Mer Merrifield's four for 10. That's mm, nothing really stands out. Braves against Rice. There's a couple good twos. There's a 300 for Azuna, but nothing else is really standing out. Uh, strikeouts. Mm. 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 Nothing's really standing out so far. I mean, that obviously stands out. That's ridiculous. That's what am I? What am I gonna do with this? That's. Uh, I think he gets there because I don't think the Braves are going to do anything to do him to get this far. So, eh, we'll take it. Why not? Let's do it. If the Braves t break out and tee off on them, they break out and tee off on them. Uh, but the bats say they're not going to because no one here is doing any good except for Austin Martin. That's a twin, and he's only four out of five in his last. So, mm -mm, not really worried about these. All right, so we'll take the pitching outs for Ober. We'll take the Nerfy. I'm not taking a side. I don't like either side in this. They're both disgusting. Ace, the total. Mm -mm. If eight and a half, I might take the under, but no. We'll just take those next game. Next up, San Diego, St. Louis. Uh, pretty much a pick them. St. Louis, slight favorite, maybe. Nine and a half your total. Weather we see in St. Louis. Pretty good day. Can't complain. 53% uh, Nerfie based on what they've done. 3.7, 284. That's 22nd and 5th for San Diego. 3 and 222. That's 24th and 20th. San Diego's least getting on base with the average, but they're both all kind of struggling all around. So San Diego doesn't strike out. Number one across the board. St. Louis is 26th with 11.3. That ain't good. So let's look at the pitchers. We got Randy Vasquez going out there. You can see what he's done. He has not pitched in three weeks almost. So yeah he was on a nice little 15 day dl looks like or no minors okay oops got that wrong so okay but he's back all right see what he does uh gibson see what he has done uh he gives up a lot of hits that's all i've noticed he, he's good for hits so let's pop over here gibson what are your hits your strikeouts are three and a half but you're facing the number one strikeout team so i don't think do i think so how have you done? You got four last time you faced them. You've gone over all these times. This, San Diego striking out 4.3 times a game. That's just crazy good. I mean, I mean, why, why, why? <laughs> these give me something more like, ooh, no, but no, they give me something that looks good. And it's like, oh, uh, walks? Oh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, no. I'm not, I, I took strikeout prop for somebody. I can't remember who it was like three days ago against San Diego, and they got like two. I think it, I can't remember who it was. It was ugh, terrible. Uh, yeah. Look at Gibson. Let's see what we got. Louis 714. And it's only seven of bats, but still. Machado's 357. Um, against righties. San Diego's great against righties. That We know this. They love them some righties uh randy let's look at your stuff again just to make sure i have a lot of nothing st louis they're pretty decent against varieties himself not as san diego good but still pretty decent uh and the bats are lacking <laughs> that's the best way i can put it lacking hard um nine and a half why oh my Ugh. okay Ugh. what this doesn't make any sense the offenses are struggling but it's nine and a half but yeah they're better and this is, uh, this is, games like this annoy me because it's like, this doesn't make sense. I just don't see what they see. I don't care. It's Monday. I'm being cautious. I don't, nothing stands out. There's your stats. I don't like it. Pass next game. All right. Next up, Detroit, Chicago, Detroit, 145. They're going to be favored. Obviously, it's Chicago command nine and a half. We can look at the weather. We can see pretty good day. Can't complain about that. Uh, overall. Chicago has hit the 100 loss mark. Yay! Celebrate for them. Um, Detroit's won three in a row. 
they're one game away from 500. Hmm. They're nine runs a game for first, 328 for second. They're just been clicking, just dominating Chicago. So uh, nine to four was the score yesterday. Yeah, Chicago, even though they're batting 283 for seventh, they're just not scoring runs. So pitching, we got Ty Madden. Welcome. I mean, welcome. That's all I can say. There you go. Uh, Davis Martin is going out there for Chicago. Yeah, Madden's going out there for Detroit. Fun thing is you have no clue except for the hat. That's all it is. Uh, he has nothing. You can see, yeah, you see how old he is and where he's from. That's it. So welcome to the big, uh, let's see, Davis Martin has been outside this one game, which I guess that's not even a bad game. His game has been pretty decent. So we got somebody who's making most likely his major league debut because, yeah, we have zero stats. Welcome to the majors. Your first game is against the, the White Sox. Okay, usually I fade this, but it's the White Sox. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I might not. I think I think I might still hit Detroit anyways because of this offense. I might. He he should have run support. So, but we'll look around. But let's look at Davis Martin. See what history we got. Uh, oh, we got Torkelson's over eight. Hmm, okay. Uh, righties. There's some three hundreds. There's some twos. There's some ones. The typical team. Nothing stands out. Uh, hits four and a half. Strikeouts, four and a half earned runs, two and a half, and walks, one and a half. Yep, typical stuff. Bats, Parker's the only one doing decently. How is Parker? Well, yeah, we'll see how Parker has done against uh, Parker. Parker, Meadows, there you are. Variety, 223 for the season. You haven't faced Parker, I mean, you haven't faced uh, Davis Martin. Yeah, Tip, okay. I I have historically faded the new guy. I always do. I think I'm gonna change it up. I think I'm gonna still take Detroit in the money line, just in the money line, because of this offense. Usually they don't have amazing support, and they're probably gonna give a couple runs. But it's Chicago, Detroit. They have the offense to help them out. So, do I think do I think Detroit's gonna win by four or five runs? No. But are they going to win? I think so. So, yeah, I'm going to throw Detroit in the money line parlay with Philly. So, it's a risky one already because Philly's in it. So, let's do that. Next game. All right, next up, we got Miami and Colorado in Coors Field. It's a pick -em. It's 10 and a half. We look at the uh, the weather and we see in Coors Field, it's going to be no wind, but a pretty good day overall. Can't complain. Uh, look at this. 50% nerfy. Four runs for both teams. That's 15, 240 and 221. That's 15 and 21st. Uh, there's no advantage in bats. They're both right in the middle of the road, average. Colorado's just striking out more than Miami. Miami doesn't strike out much. So Colorado's not listing a pitcher yet for some reason. Like, you know you're playing today, right? Who's your pitcher? Tell us. You're not Detroit. You can't get away with this. But that's what they're doing. They haven't listed a pitcher. But Miami has Cabrera's pitching. And we see Cabrera's pitching. We see. He hasn't faced Colorado recently. Two great games and then a terrible game and then an okay game. So uh, there you go. We do have props on one guy. So we can look at the one prop we have because nothing for Colorado. Okay, cool. So nothing, no update. A lot of zeros, a whole lot of zeros. Our man's over seven. Oof, oof, oof. Colorado got some reds up here. A lot of middle two, little middle to low twos. Uh, a couple 280 higher ones. No, not too inspiring. So strikeouts, hits, earn runs, walks, outs. Ugh, I don't want to get you that. Let me look at the bats. Doyle is 90%. Toglia walks. Come back here, you. Let me look at you again. Um, Doyle, where are you at? You're 0 for 4. You're 270. I, I might take it. I think I'm still going to take it. And then Toglia walks? It's, a, it's pick them. Okay. How often do you walk people? That's a good question. That's what I want to see. Walks. Whole season. I mean, you know what? Let's do it. He's hitting that much of a clip for walks. Yeah. I'll, I've never taken a batter walk prop. That's, that's going to be a first. We're going to do something here. So we're going to take Doyle over 1.5 HR. And I'm also going to take... Toglia over one zero point five BBs. We're gonna do those two. I am not gonna take a side because we don't know the pitcher for Colorado. We don't know how the Miami's bats are gonna do, and we see that they're pretty average across the board. So 
Yeah, no money line there, no but that. Just those two plays, last game. All right, last game, Tampa Bay, Seattle. Seattle's 130, uh, over under seven. It's in the dome, so there's no weather. So we go right over here, 50%, 4.3, but Tampa fell off a cliff. 262 for 12, they batted 156 yesterday, only one run yesterday. Seattle, 4.3 for 11th, the same as Tampa. 213 less than Tampa, but they didn't fall off the cliff, they kind of went up. So one's trending one direction, now there's both off of one game, so... What does that mean much? Both teams strike out a bunch that we knew that already. Let's look at the two pitchers we actually have. We have Pepio going out there so we can see what he has done. Historically, pretty decent numbers overall. I uh, can't complain about that. Bryce Miller is going out there for Seattle. Again, pretty decent numbers. I see why the total is only seven right now. Makes sense. Let's look at some props. Ah, uh, Polanco's got a home run, two at-bats, and a whole lot of nothing. There we go. Easy peasy. A lot of 200s are green. There's a 324 for him, but he doesn't play much. Uh, yeah, cool. There you go. Hits have gotten better. They were high, but they're getting better. Strikeouts is six and a half against Seattle. Ooh, this is a matchup of strikeouts that could feed families. It really could. This could. Uh but he hasn't gotten close. And you placed Oakland, you couldn't get that? Mm, no. No. There's better things out there, I'm sure. Mm, five and five and two thirds. That's all you gotta do to hit this. Uh let's go to Bryce. There's gotta be something good. Like I'm not chasing things to chase. I'm like, I need some history. I need something that looks good that says, hey, take me. Like Toglia walks. I yeah, I'll take that. Why not? We'll do it. Sure. Yeah, nothing stands out there. Nothing stands out there. It's like, come on, give me something. Four and a half against both offenses are struggling right now. Why would I take an over hit prop? Why? Strikeout, six and a half. I know it's I know it's Tampa, but no, you barely struck out nine against this. The whole season, you've gone over 28% of the time. Why would I ever entertain this notion? Never. Head to head, you went six and seven. Now you're number six and a half. Nah, nah, fam. I'm good, fam. I'm good. Yeah, a hard pass on those. Go to the bats. Polanco and Rivas. Okay. That's both Seattle. So let's go back up at BO. Let's go look at his history. Um, Rivas is never faced. And um, who else I say? Polanco. Polanco is one for two with a home run. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's only two at bats. It's not much. Blanco is only 210 for the season against righties. Rivas is 324, but he's only got 34 bats. That's not good. That, I need. Mm -mm. Mm, this game is terrible. Let's be honest. Guys. This game is just trash. I don't know. I'm going to end on a pass. This game's horrible. It's a Monday. Move on. All right, that's it. All 12, 11 and a half. I don't know what you really want to call that, that weird boss and Tampa resume game, but there you go. It's there. Yeah, so I know on this thing it says Toronto twice, but yeah, we already talked about that. So um, it's a weird day. We got a doubleheader, a kind of a doubleheader, and then some great matchups, and then some just trash matchups. It's a Monday. Eh, there you go. So not many plays, but what can you do? Parlay for Moneyline is Philly and Detroit. And Detroit is a gamble because it's a brand new pitcher. So, hey, have fun with it. Philly is Philly. So, feel risky, you're feeling risky. So, drop a like and subscribe if you want to. We're trying, you know. It's new week. Hey, what can we do? So uh, regular games tomorrow, regular schedule tomorrow. Shouldn't be nothing crazy. So hopefully we end up green tonight so we can worry about that tomorrow. See you then. Peace.